Yo, remember when I made mochi? I'm gonna make it again. So the first time I made mochi, I made it in a really quick, easy way in the microwave. Now that's the way that I've made mochi and I, I love mochi, so I've made it a bunch of times that way. It's really simple. But in the comments, a lot of you were upset that I didn't do it a more traditional way. So I'm gonna show you another simple way to make mochi at home, clarify a few things, and I'm gonna show you how to make it using a steamer. Now one of the comments that I got a lot of was, can I just use regular rice flour? Can I use rice flour and put sugar in it? Can I use regular flour and put sugar in it? You can't. So to make mochi, you need a sweet rice flour, sometimes called glutinous rice flour. The most popular one is mochi co. The sweet doesn't necessarily mean that sugar was added. It's just the kind of rice that's used to make the flour. Now, if you don't have a steamer and you don't have Mochico, I'm gonna leave the links for both of these in my Amazon store below. So you can buy them, you can make it at home. So you just need a few things. To do a steamed version, the recipe is just a little different. All you need is three quarters cup of water, one cup of sugar, one cup of Mochico rice flour, and then about a half of a cup of corn starch, or a kind of like, you can even use potato starch, just to help it be not sticky. Today, I'm gonna to be making it with ice cream. So the first thing that you wanna do before you do anything with the mochi is prep your ice cream. So what I did to prep my ice cream is I just scooped out some ice cream and put it into some small cupcake tins and put those in the freezer. So that way the ice cream balls can get extra hard. So the first step in making mochi, you gotta get your steamer on. And we just have a regular steamer with about an inch of water at the bottom of it. I also have an oven safe bowl that I'm gonna be using once this is all mixed together to put in the steamer. We need to take our mochiko rice flour and water and combine them. Now this should form a pretty nice dough ball. Once everything's mixed in, I'm just gonna mix it with my fingers to make sure and kind of knead it just a little bit lightly in the bowl. It's not actually kneading it, it's just making sure that all of the mochiko flour is combined. Okay, so this is mixed pretty nice. You have a nice soft mochi dough ball. I'm gonna add it to my oven safe bowl and then we're gonna drop this into the steamer for around 20 minutes. So it's already steaming. Let's go ahead and drop that down in. It's hot. I like to place a clean towel over the steamer. That helps it so none of the water gets back in from the lid because water will get trapped on the lid and then drip down into the steamer. Let's let that steam for around 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take this off the steamer. So now we have a steamed mochi dough ball. This is hot, sticky, sweet rice dough. So the next step is we're gonna be moving our rice dough ball from our oven safe bowl into a new saucepan. So now with our mochi dough ball in the new saucepan, let's set this on a medium heat and then we're gonna slowly add in our sugar, about a quarter cup at a time. And then mix it and melt it. So once you have all of your sugar mixed into your mochi, we're gonna take it off of the heat. Now you're gonna be able to tell because your mochi is gonna be very stretchy and it's also gonna have a little bit of a shine to it. I have a baking sheet here. I'm gonna do about half of the corn starch on the baking sheet. Yeah. Get it pretty evenly spread out. And then we're just gonna take this mochi and drop it right on. <laughs> mochi dough is sticky. So you're going to be using every tool you can think of to try to unstick this stuff once you get going. <laughs> Very sticky. Okay, so at this point, we wanna work this into a pretty flat dough. I'm gonna put some more of the starch on top of the mochi here, and then just make sure that my hands are covered pretty liberally. There we go. And then just make sure that the mochi's dusted all the way through, and then just kind of stretch it out. There we go. So let's let this cool down. This is gonna be great. I love mochi. This is gonna be so good. I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. That's perfect. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so now we're at my favorite part. We are adding the ice cream to the mochi. 
I have um, vanilla, some green tea ice cream that I made, and strawberry. Now again, like the green tea ice cream that I did, it's just vanilla ice cream with some matcha powder mixed in. I have a three and a half inch ring that I'm going to knock out, hopefully six out of this. We're just gonna do them one at a time, palm side down, and then stretch the mochi and pinch around the ice cream. And then drop that guy right back down in the container there and then just keep moving along. Perfect little mochi ball. Then all we need to do is just drop these in the freezer and then they're ready to serve. You're gonna pull them out just a few minutes before you wanna serve them. So that way the mochi softens up. And then this mochi you can break off, cut in the little cubes, cut in the squares to eat. It's good just by itself. Sauce Squad, I'm not sure if you saw yet, but I have merch. You can now buy Sauce Stash t-shirts. I have a few different designs. I would love if you go and check them out at SauceStash.com slash shop. I'll leave the link below. Man, this stuff is so good. So that's it, one of my favorite treats, mochi. Like I said, I showed you the microwave version. Now this is the steamed version. Comes out a little bit different. The microwave, is a, it's quicker and, and it's easier to do, but this actually comes out a little bit smoother and the texture is a little bit more gummier. Kind of like the authentic mochi that you would buy uh, if you were buying a store-bought mochi. But here it is. Mm, it's so good. Oh God, I love it. Mm, perfect treat. Well, that's what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, please click the like button and leave a comment down below. Are you gonna make steamed mochi? Let me know, steamed or microwave? Which one do you choose? I'll put a poll right here. If you're new here, please click the subscribe button and click the little bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And you see all these names scrolling above me. Those are my Patreon supporters. And for just a buck, you can get your name right here too. So thanks for watching. That's what I got. Mochi, my favorite treat. Have a good one.